Hello doers, it's Andrew Does It, back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you every single part that I have on my lower trike. track. I'm also going to be showing you guys, talking to you guys about the prices on a few of the parts. And I will also be talking about where I got certain parts because a lot of people will be commenting where did I get this part, where did I get this part, where did I order my parts from. So I'm also going to be talking about where to get parts and certain places to get parts here and parts there. But anyways, before we start, I do want to apologize for not posting these last two weeks. But when I was filming, I noticed that some of the parts did not want to fit. And not only that, I did order new parts because I couldn't put the front fork without putting any of the handlebars. So I did have to order some parts which hasn't came. But anyways, I was supposed to post a vlog last Sunday of me taking my truck to the Whittier Cruise. But this was all my video person got. Sorry, car man. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna follow you. Go! Go! I'm gonna follow you! Alright, guys, so we're downstairs. We're gonna be showing you all the parts on the bike, and we're gonna be starting from the back to the front because the back has way less parts than the front does. So, the first thing I'm gonna be showing you on the bike that we have is the spare tire the continental kit and this one's the birdcage twisted part this was actually one of the first parts that I got once I bought this bike and also when I did get this bike uh, like four or five years ago it we did change these pedals so these we had on the original but the pedals were changed so we got birdcage pedals and then we changed the sprocket to birdcage and then the chain was also changed and then in the back we also have these stars on the wheels got these once it was still a two wheel bike so these did come out the two wheels and um, we have the twisted mufflers and we also have a twisted bumper and we also have a twisted birdcage antenna and we have these regular 20 inch trike fenders and then we have the blue regular blue backlight with the birdcage light holder on both sides and this one also does have a star and this this one did come with a bike and for the price of this, I believe it was 130 with everything, with the the rim, the tire, the star, and the Continental kit. What we also have is this twisted part that goes around the seat. We do have a banana seat. This is a different one from the original ones. We have a birdcage seat post. This one is cut because it doesn't fit down here. We have a twisted holder. Holds the bike. Seat post. And we also do have a twisted sissy bar. And I might change this one to birdcage so it can match the bike more. And we have regular twisted mufflers. And on the other side we also have the bat holder or a drink holder whatever you want to use it for alright now for the front of the bike we do have a twisted birdcage steering wheel pretty nice this one didn't come with the bike it had a regular plain handlebars on it so these handlebars were changed these are the twisted birdcage I believe I got this one for 130 and these I had some chrome so I changed these to the newer ones 
and I also did get this one when I bought the fenders and the seat post so these are the birdcage blue lights blue mirrors and we also do have this light and I did put in batteries it's working perfectly and this one does have a birdcage seat <coughs> light holder and then we have another mirror this one was on the bike before and next we got a twisted fork this was completely all twisted but I ended up buying this one from from some one guy but it's a wing twist and bird cage you can buy these separately and you can change them to whatever you want and we do have a twisted bird cage muffler in the front both sides and we do have the stars right here twisted and I do have a twisted bumper and for the fenders we have these fender holders which are double twist and bird cage I got these when I bought the trike setup and the trike setup I think I got for about 120 which was a good deal and I also got the 144 spokes three of them for I think like 120 and the last part I'm going to be showing you that everyone been asking me about is this adjustable spring it has a pin right here you just pull it down and I will be showing you guys right now how this one works alright guys so it has a pin under here I did put it under because I don't like it showing on the front and also the pin hits this, this screw right here but anyways I'm going to be showing you guys how I use mine so I just lift the bike up a little bit and pull the pin down and the bike drops all the way to the ground as you can see, the pedals are right in this thing. So I just feel like this part is like putting in like a kickstand because this bike doesn't have a kickstand. So, and pretty much just an adjustable spring. Alright, so now we're going to be answering two of the most asked questions on my Instagram and on my YouTube comments. So if you haven't already, make sure to go give me a follow on Instagram. Link will be in the description below. Or it will be somewhere around my, the camera right here. So we're going to answer number one with where did I get my parts from? I got my parts from different bike shops. Reason being is because like every other business, they try to raise their prices by double. Um, that being said, it's because... I used to get like parts one day and then come back like a week or two days later and it'd be double the price or he charged me extra for something random. So I did get my parts from different bike stores, I didn't get them online so all these parts are from bike stores, they are not online bought. So question number two is where did I get my adjusted spring from? I did get this from the well-known Manny's Bike Shop in Compton and how much I paid for it was I know for a fact that I paid 150 for this and I went I believe like two weeks ago to get the same part for my brother's bike and when I got there he lied in mine's and my dad's faces by saying that he has never sold this part cheaper than 250 so you, if you didn't hear that right, he was trying to sell his adjusted spring for 250 Well, I know for a fact I got it for 150 And not only that, but it was just one twisted part right here for 150 He did install this one and try to sell it to us for 275 bucks, And he said that we're lying because he wouldn't go anywhere lower than 225 
but I know perfectly fine that I got this for 150 And another <clears throat> way he lied to us was these whales. He says that no one else has them, and they're the Cadillac blue wheels. It has a little blue inner right here. He says that no one else carries it. And he says that he was going to give it to us for 30 bucks a tire. And I wasn't going to buy it because I thought it was a good price. But then I waited. I went to another bike store. And I actually got them for $7 a piece. And I got three of them. And for three of them, I got them for less than one price that Manny would have gave it to us. And another thing I like about Manny's bike shop is because he says that most of the parts he has are custom. Like, let's say if I wanted to get this this piece at Manny's, he said that he'll do a custom made. But in reality, he'll go to a wholesale, wholesale um, lower rider part and get this part and say that he made it himself. He did it to me once. And not only that, there's a lowrider logo on the wholesale lowrider parts. And he claims that it's him, but it's not. Because I've been looking at other YouTubers and they've built their bikes out of state and they have a logo on it. And they say that they shop for the, their parts in their state. All right, that's gonna be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't, make sure to turn on your notifications for my next new video. And before I end the video, I do need a suggestion from you guys. So if you guys can please comment down a way to help me on this. And a problem I'm having is that this bike was once rideable and now it's not. And the reason being is because of this trike setup. I have it in the middle of these two because that's the only way it's going to stand out more and I, as I explained in my other videos if I do put this one all the way down the bike just drops all the way to the floor and if I do put this little piece right here in the back then the trike setup is going to fall back unless you're riding it it's going to be perfectly fine but I do just want to have this rideable so if any guys have any suggestions on what i can do what i can put make sure to go comment down below this is andrew does it and i hope to see you in my next new video